Donald, stupid Trump. Trumpisms. Okay. Donald Trump, man. And you know, we don't even really like talking about this guy because we realize what what what, what kind of buffoon this dude is. But he forces us to talk about him with the kind of crap that comes out of his mouth. So at a rally recently in North Carolina, this guy had something very troublesome to say uh, in regards to Hillary Clinton and the Second Amendment. So let's play you that clip. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick... If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what, that will be a horrible day. If this is a man that is not campaigning. That This is a man that is not running for president. We, I think States. we already have he's established not. that. No, he's not. He's not running for president. No. He's, just, he's just there so kind of Hillary Clinton could get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On easy pass. Yes. It, it, because nobody would say something like that. Nobody would say that. So audibly. That's something that you would mutter under your breath, wouldn't it? But he said it very clear into the microphone at a rally. <laughs> That's being recorded. I don't know whether I don't know whether it's if it's his ego or whether he thinks that is something that could actually transpire, but it just seems like he goes out of his way. To put his foot in his to mouth. To put his foot in his yeah. mouth. So, and to derail his campaign. Because everybody's... like I mean, like Republicans are coming out in droves. Like, they're, they're saying, oh, we're, we're, we're going to support Hillary Clinton. But, you know, his, his, lo- his loyal base... Now, they're trying to defend these comments. Like, like, there's some kind of question what he meant. He tells it like it is, Will. <laughs> he tells it like it is. So, what did what you hear? Mean. What did you hear when you heard that? He said, well, all right, so what did he say? He, he said, said, like, if Hillary gets to pick her judges, there's mm-hmm. nothing he could do. So you well, got to... He said, folks, folks, there's nothing you can do, do about it. Well, uh, the Second Amendment people might yeah. have something to say about it. Yeah, so there's something, maybe it is something you could do. Yeah, maybe it is something you so could what, do. So how could you interpret that? Well, you, you know what? Don't even look at us. Look at the people in the audience. Right. The people right behind them. If you look at how they reacted, they knew. It was like, wait a second. Exactly. What did he just say? Yes. Like, so if they knew, if the people that were actually at the event knew exactly what he was talking about and people that were watching knows exactly what he was talking about, then there's really no question what he was suggesting, right? Well, it's, it's no question because, yeah, okay, if you just take like uh, like a, a small comment from the middle of what he said, mm-hmm. there's no way to interpret it. But from the, the front mm-hmm. of it and the back of it, it... It kind of illustrates what he was talking about, yeah. and he's well. He, he he began by saying, "Well, he's assuming that uh, uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton is already president. Yeah, yes. he's she's going to she so she's going to pick her judges. Right, and so at that point, there's nothing you there's can nothing do about it. You folks. can do about it, folks. So after that, yeah. what is the remedy to solve this the problem? Second Amendment. The second Amendment, which means <laughs> mugs are going to get the popping. Right, mugs are going to somebody get, on some, somebody. Yeah." On, on, on either, either Hillary Clinton or, or judges, exactly. Or the judges. That's the only way you can infer this, right? But leave it to Katrina Pearson, who is the national campaign spokesperson for the Trump campaign. Leave it to her to try to spin this into something else. The Second Amendment people, maybe there is something they can do. What is he suggesting? Well, if you complete uh, the video, he also, right after he says that would be a horrible day, he says if Hillary Clinton gets to pick the Supreme Court justices, mainly because the NRA is a bipartisan organization, and that is also left out of the discussion in the media, considering how there are even Democrats who won't touch gun legislation in an election year because the NRA has been able to take out Democrats as well, and even been able to block appointments uh, to high-ranking positions, like with the ATF, for that matter. Uh, so they do have a lot of political power, um, even beyond just turning out voters. <sighs> That's so painful to hear her speak. Like, when I hear her talking, especially at this moment, all I hear is distraction. All I hear is deflection. She's not talking about what actually happened. She's trying to deflect. She, t- she brought up the NRA. 
Did Trump say anything about the NRA? Not only that, like, like in context, it's off with what, how, well, how Trump presented the scenario. Mm-hmm. She's making it like, oh, like the NRA has a lot of influence, mm-hmm. so therefore, you know, what he was saying was, you know, that is not going to happen because the NRA has a lot of influence. But Trump. Didn't that, say that. Didn't say that. He was talking to the he's he was talking to the people directly. He was saying, folks, if she's in the president's chair, she's in the White House, and she appoints justices that are going to try to strip away your gun rights, there's nothing you can do. Oh well. I think like what she was trying to do was she was trying to make a claim that when he said like, NRA people, mm. not I mean when we're talking about Second Amendment people, right. she he was talking about the NRA. Uh, but no, he, no, was he wasn't. No. And uh, there's a <laughs> now um, General Michael Hayden. Now he's a former CIA director and he was being interviewed. And what he said was, first, if this was anybody else, they would have been in the back of like a, you know, a police van or something like that for making that kind of threat. Also, what he said was when you are somebody running for president, I guess when you're somebody that has some kind of influence, you know. Which, it doesn't it it, it 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 matters what you say but it also matters what people hear and that's absolutely right he insinuated that people should get to shoot him and get to assassinating somebody but uh, later on in that clip with Katrina Pearson mm-hmm. what did she say well it's it's not like he's going to be talking to the world's leaders like that yeah he's not talking about policy so it shouldn't matter. And I was like, wait a second. So a the leader or a possible leader of the free world mm-hmm. or and uh you know whether he's has a possibility of becoming president or whether he becomes president mm-hmm. either way. Right. Because he's not talking about detailed policy or policy specifics that means what he says you know, shouldn't be scrutinized or he shouldn't be held responsible for what he says. Like he can be loose with his language that at a rally, sense. but when he talks to world leaders, oh, he's going to, he's going to clean it up and he's not going to be so ambiguous. But see, isn't like that. that's, no, that's always what he has said in his campaign has said. It's like, well, once I get there, you know, I'm just going to, yeah. I'm going to be more serious. I'll it's make gonna, your head spin. I'll make your head, yeah, no, I'll with make what your head I know. spin with what I know. Nah. But whatever. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. This is a guy that is not running for president. Now, look, 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 we've seen the pictures of of the Clintons and the Trumps, right? We've well, seen the pictures, uh, right? Well, yeah, at the wedding. Yes, in the, at the wedding. And we see how uh, uh, Bill Clinton has played golf. And Ivanka. Trump. Yes. And, uh, Chelsea. and Chelsea are right. friends. Yes. We, and it was we, just, see, we see how Trump uh, donated money to Hillary's Senate campaign yes. and to the Clinton Foundation. So, And just years ago, he was praising Clinton, right? Yeah. He even praised Obama. He even praised Obama. Th- this guy's not running for president. The joke is on us as a people, okay? Because if it isn't the Clintons that planted him, man, it <laughs> it's somebody. I mean, some, something's going on it because just, nobody worked, would run for out, president. It worked like out two purposes. No. Like, two perfectly. Nobody that's actually running for president would actually do the things that he's doing. Even Donald Trump. Even Donald Even the narcissist Donald Trump. Donald Trump.